Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a plugin for Firefox called NoScript. NoScript um, pretty much protects your browser from cross site scripting attacks and also scripts that are potentially dangerous for your computer that you don't really want to have executing. So, the first thing you'll need to do is to go to NoScript.net and download the plugin. And then once it's installed, You'll need to train it to actually um, allow sites to execute scripts on your computer, sites that you trust. The sites that are untrusted um, will not be able to run scripts on your computer, and this is a really good way to protect your computer from threats. A lot of the threats um, come from legitimate sites that inadvertently allow advertisements running on their site itself from third parties and those third parties can get compromised <clears throat> and also you can do a Google search and hit a site that you think is legit but it's not and without doing anything at all it will just start executing code on your computer and the next thing you'll know you'll be having uh, virus and trojans on your computer uh, causing widespread havoc so I'm gonna visit this one site um, it's a radio station and just to give you an idea what your site whatever site you visit what it's going to look like until you allow the site to actually be allowed on your computer to run correctly so I'm going to visit KISS FM 98 KISS FM and you'll notice down here script currently forbidden uh, there's 29 scripts and one object and then it gives you a list of options so basically what's happening right now is it's allow it's loading the site up but it's not executing any any potentially dangerous dangerous applications or dangerous dangerous scripts on your computer so I'm gonna scroll down the page and you'll notice that there are some objects that are not loaded fully uh, one in particular is this this is probably a video a flash video if you'll notice it says it's an embed basically this is a script that's embedded in the page and it's a flash movie but no script is preventing it from executing and the reason why it's doing that is because you haven't allowed it to run on your computer yet so if you feel like the site is trustworthy and you want to allow it you can go down to the options menu and you'll get a list of sites that you can allow and sites that are already disallowed so another thing you want to notice is if you're having, uh, if you're, if you're at a site and and no scripts blocking, blocking various scripts on the site, it also may prevent you from actually utilizing the site itself. Uh, when you click on various links, they won't work. So just remember that when this this little title bar comes up with options, you you need to interact with it. So the first thing you want to do is go to options and basically allow the the first top level site. 98 Kiss FM is the is the site that you're visiting, but but this site can also use third-party sites to display content on their site. Like E360 Live, that's a third-party site that 98 Kiss FM is using to display content. So you start with allowing their site first, okay? And it'll, you'll notice that it's now loading the content, some of the content, and you'll probably be able to access different links and whatnot. So you notice that's working now. But... One thing that's not working is this this video still, uh, 98 Kiss FM film tel uh, television. And the reason why that's not is because this embedded video is coming from a third-party site. So you'll need to go back to options and allow e360live.com. And at that point, okay, so that was not it. So we got two more, three more we have to go through to allow to get this site to work. Okay, so now it's working. Now it's loading the actual video. Um, and there's two more that need to be loaded in the options menu in order for things to work. But if you're able to operate the site, then you're good. So don't worry about trying to allow everything until you reach a point where you can't do something. And um, that's really how you use NoScript. Um, sometimes it can get in the way of you... Um, getting to sites that that are important to you but it's you know it's really important to have a layer of protection um, in place that can prevent sites from 
arbitrarily executing various code on your computer without your authorization. My name is Scott Larson and I operate a, biz a computer business, Scott Larson Consulting. You can visit my website at www.scottlarsonconsulting.com. Thank you very much.